The chilling realm of serial killers has captivated the public imagination for decades, prompting countless books, documentaries, and films. Behind the gruesome headlines and sensationalized portrayals, however, lies a dark and complex reality that extends beyond the macabre fascination. In this exploration, we delve into the intricate web of facts surrounding serial killers, unmasking the truth that often remains obscured by myths and misconceptions. The Genesis of Serial Killers To understand the phenomenon of serial killers, one must examine the roots of their aberrant behavior. Experts agree that a combination of genetic, psychological, and environmental factors contributes to the development of individuals with a propensity for serial violence. While there is no single formula that predicts someone will become a serial killer, early signs of psychopathy, cruelty to animals, and a troubled childhood often surface in the backgrounds of these individuals. The Mosaic of Infamy, a diverse tapestry of serial killers. Within the ominous tapestry of serial killers, one finds not a monolithic entity, but a rich and unsettling diversity of personalities and motivations. These individuals, infamous for their monstrous deeds, defy easy categorization. From the meticulously organized Ted Bundy to the deceptive normalcy of the seemingly average neighbor John Wayne Gacy, the spectrum of serial killers is as expansive as it is disconcerting. Unmasking the true nature of these individuals demands a deep dive into the labyrinthine corridors of their psyches, where intricate psychological intricacies intertwine to propel them toward committing heinous acts. The Portrait of Ted Bundy Among the notorious figures that populate the realm of serial killers, Ted Bundy stands out as a chilling embodiment of charisma and malevolence. His outwardly charming demeanor and magnetic personality masked a depravity that terrorized the nation during the 1970s. Bundy's meticulously organized approach to his crimes, coupled with his ability to blend seamlessly into society, showcases the disturbing duality that often characterizes serial killers. Unraveling the psychological threads that wove the fabric of Bundy's twisted psyche reveals the complexity of his motivations and the depths of his malevolence. The Enigma of John Wayne Gacy In stark contrast to Bundy's calculated approach, the case of John Wayne Gacy unfolds as a tale of deception within the familiar confines of suburban life. Gacy, a seemingly average neighbor and successful businessman, harbored a dark secret beneath his facade of normalcy. Responsible for the heinous murders of numerous young men, Gacy's ability to conceal his monstrous acts behind a veneer of civic engagement and community involvement adds another layer of complexity to the mosaic of serial killers. Unmasking the true nature of Gacy's seemingly ordinary exterior requires a nuanced exploration of the factors that fueled his descent into unspeakable violence. Psychological Perspectives on the Mindset of Serial Killers Delving into the complex realm of understanding the mindset of serial killers, various psychological theories have emerged to shed light on the intricate interplay of factors that contribute to the development of violent tendencies in individuals. One such perspective is the psychodynamic approach, which endeavors to unravel the impact of early childhood experiences on the genesis of these aberrant behaviors. The psychodynamic framework posits that unresolved conflicts and traumas from early life stages can manifest later in life potentially leading to violent inclinations. The exploration of a serial killer's psyche involves delving into the recesses of their past, seeking patterns of neglect, abuse, or disturbed attachment that may have laid the foundation for their later criminal activities. Through this lens, the psychodynamic perspective provides a nuanced understanding of how deeply rooted psychological factors may influence the trajectory towards serial offending. In tandem with the psychodynamic approach, the sociocultural perspective offers another dimension to the narrative, examining how external societal factors can act as catalysts for the formation of a serial killer. This perspective contemplates the influence of societal elements such as poverty, exposure to violence, and systemic inequalities in shaping an individual's psyche towards a predisposition for serial violence. Considering the sociocultural factors at play, one must scrutinize how the environment in which a person grows up can contribute to their deviant inclinations. Poverty and lack of resources may engender a sense of desperation and frustration, potentially pushing an individual towards violent outlets as a means of coping with their perceived powerlessness. Exposure to violence, whether within the family or the broader community, can desensitize an individual to the consequences of their actions, 
further paving the way for a path of serial criminality. It is essential to acknowledge that these psychological perspectives are not exhaustive in their explanations, as the genesis of serial killing remains a multifaceted enigma. The interplay between individual psychological dynamics and external societal influences creates a complex tapestry that demands a holistic understanding. Through these diverse lenses, researchers and psychologists strive to unravel the intricacies of the human psyche, seeking insights that may contribute to the prevention and intervention strategies for individuals at risk of developing into serial offenders. Exploring the complex relationship between mental illness and serial killers. Dismantling common misconceptions, it becomes evident that the intricate connection between mental illness and serial killers is far from a one-size-fits-all narrative. While certain notorious individuals may display diagnosable conditions like psychopathy or antisocial personality disorder, a substantial number of serial killers navigate the world with a veneer of normalcy, evading the conventional markers of mental health disorders. This paradoxical phenomenon forces us to grapple with the perplexing boundary that separates sanity from madness, compelling a re-evaluation of our comprehension of criminal behavior. The nuanced interplay between mental health and serial killing unveils a multifaceted landscape where not every perpetrator can be neatly categorized within the confines of clinical diagnoses. In the realm of forensic psychology, the enigma of individuals who perpetrate heinous crimes without exhibiting overt signs of mental illness challenges are conventional frameworks. The question arises, can one be deemed mentally healthy while engaging in serial acts of violence? This query, laden with complexity, necessitates a deeper exploration into the intricacies of the human psyche and the factors that drive aberrant behavior. A divergence from the stereotypical image of a mentally unstable killer prompts us to contemplate the role of personality traits, environmental influences, and the cumulative impact of life experiences. Serial killers who manage to maintain a facade of normalcy may possess a unique set of psychological attributes that enable them to blend into society, concealing their dark proclivities. The examination of these covert psychological dynamics invites researchers and mental health professionals to unravel the layers of complexity inherent in the human mind. Moreover, the absence of overt mental illness in some serial killers challenges traditional notions of culpability and raises ethical considerations within the legal and psychological realms. Understanding the motivations and inner workings of individuals who commit serial crimes without apparent psychiatric disorders becomes imperative for crafting effective prevention strategies and legal interventions. In essence, the exploration of the relationship between mental illness and serial killers extends beyond simplistic categorizations. It beckons us to embark on a journey into the intricate tapestry of the human psyche, where the fusion of genetics, environment, and individual experiences shapes behavior in ways that defy easy classification. As we grapple with this complex landscape, we find ourselves on the frontier of unraveling the mysteries that lie at the intersection of mental health and criminality. Criminal Profiling and Investigation Unmasking serial killers often requires the expertise of criminal profilers who meticulously analyze crime scenes, victimology, and patterns of behavior. Profilers use their understanding of criminal psychology to create a profile that can aid law enforcement in narrowing down potential suspects. The investigative process is a delicate dance between science, intuition, and the pursuit of justice, delving into the depths of notorious serial killer cases. A comprehensive understanding of the intricate and chilling realm of serial killers necessitates a closer examination of some of the most infamous cases that have etched themselves into the annals of history. Among the macabre cast of characters that have left an indelible mark on society, the names Jeffrey Dahmer, Aileen Wernos, and the Zodiac Killer stand out as haunting reminders of the dark underbelly that exists alongside our seemingly ordinary world. By scrutinizing these notorious cases, we gain invaluable insights into the motives, methods, and the profound impact on the lives of their unfortunate victims, unraveling the unsettling psyche of serial offenders. Jeffrey Dahmer infamously known as the Milwaukee Cannibal or the Milwaukee Monster, was convicted of heinous crimes that involved the murders and dismemberment of 17 young men between 1978 and 1991. His case not only shocked the public with the gruesome nature of his acts, but also raised profound questions about the factors that contribute to the evolution of a serial killer. 
Delving into Dahmer's background, childhood experiences, and the progression of his crimes provides a window into the dark recesses of a disturbed psyche, shedding light on the complex interplay of nature and nurture. Aileen Wernos, dubbed the monster and the highway serial killer, gained infamy for her string of murders committed between 1989 and 1990. Her case is unique, not only for the brutality of her crimes, but also for the stark contrast between her troubled upbringing and the subsequent descent into violence. Examining Wernos's tumultuous life journey, marked by abuse, homelessness, and mental health challenges, unveils the intricate tapestry of factors that converged to shape her into a serial killer, challenging preconceived notions about the predictability of such criminal trajectories. The Enigma of the Zodiac Killer who terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area during the late 1960s and early 1970s, adds another layer of complexity to the study of serial offenders. The Zodiac's cryptic letters to newspapers, taunting law enforcement, and a string of unsolved murders create a mystique that continues to captivate the public imagination. Unraveling the motives and identity of the Zodiac killer remains an ongoing challenge highlighting the elusive nature of certain serial cases and the perpetual quest for closure in the face of unresolved mysteries. By immersing ourselves in these notorious cases, we embark on a journey that transcends mere morbid curiosity. These case studies provide a crucial backdrop for understanding the various paths that lead individuals to embrace a life of serial violence. Beyond the gruesome details, the exploration of motives and methods offers a window into the complexities of human behavior and the myriad factors that contribute to the creation of infamous figures in the annals of criminal history. In the ongoing pursuit of unraveling the truth about serial killers, these cases serve as haunting signposts, urging society to delve deeper into the shadows to confront the unsettling realities that lurk within the human psyche. The Role of Forensic Science Advancements in forensic science have played a pivotal role in unmasking serial killers and bringing them to justice. DNA analysis, crime scene reconstruction, and behavioral profiling have all contributed to solving cases that might have remained unsolved in earlier eras. The evolving landscape of forensic science continues to refine our understanding of criminal investigations, the impact on victims and society. Behind every headline and police investigation, there are real victims whose lives have been irrevocably altered by the actions of serial killers. The aftermath of these crimes extends beyond the immediate tragedy, affecting families, communities, and even the collective psyche of society. Understanding the broader impact is crucial in addressing the long-term consequences of serial violence. Legal and Ethical Considerations Unmasking the truth about serial killers also involves navigating the legal and ethical complexities surrounding their prosecution. Questions of mental competency, the death penalty, and the role of rehabilitation in the justice system highlight the ongoing debate over how society should respond to those who commit heinous acts. The influence of popular culture. The portrayal of serial killers in popular culture has both shaped and distorted public perceptions. From movies like The Silence of the Lambs to true crime documentaries, the media's portrayal often sensationalizes and dramatizes these criminals. Separating fact from fiction becomes a daunting task as society consumes a narrative that sometimes strays far from the realities of criminal behavior. The Global Perspective While certain cases may dominate the headlines in specific regions, serial killers are a global phenomenon. Exploring cases from different countries and cultures reveals both commonalities and unique aspects in the manifestation of serial violence. The global perspective underscores the importance of international collaboration in understanding and combating this dark aspect of human behavior, preventive measures and intervention. Unmasking the truth about serial killers is not only about understanding their motives, but also about developing strategies for prevention and intervention. Identifying at-risk individuals, addressing mental health issues, and implementing community-based programs are essential components of a comprehensive approach to reducing the prevalence of serial violence. Conclusion In unmasking the truth about serial killers, we navigate a complex labyrinth of psychological, societal, and legal intricacies. Beyond the sensationalism and horror, there lies a need for a nuanced understanding of the factors that contribute to the emergence of serial offenders. 
The exploration of this dark facet of humanity serves not only to satisfy our morbid curiosity, but also to inform efforts to prevent and address the profound impact of serial violence on individuals and society as a whole. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our original stories then please like and subscribe and share and leave comments.